am a gold medal shopper. I speak the language, I know my way around, and I can spot a sail from a mile away. Ooh! Ow! Oh, here in Beijing's bustling marketplaces, even a seasoned pro like me can discover new challenges and great buys. Mm. In this episode, see why Beijing's old pipe street attracts non-smokers from all over the world. Then, take a step back in time on Liu Li Chang Street, where art's been sold for hundreds of years. And sharpen your bargaining skills at Yasho, where you can score a big load of goodies even if your budget is tiny. Finally, high fashion shopping. The gold that's flashed here is not Olympic, it's plastic. All coming up on Beijing Are You Ready? The sport of shopping. Not necessarily an Olympic sport, but you still come away with prizes. Sometimes it's about the things you buy. Sometimes it's about the shopping experience itself. Beijing's Old Pipe Street delivers on both. Walking on Old Pipe Street is more than a shopping experience. It's a step back in time to Old Beijing where you can immerse yourself in China's past. More than a hundred years ago, shopkeepers on this street sold tobacco so people could fill their pipes. Locals thought it was fitting since to them, the street itself looked like a pipe. Imagine the West End as the tip of the pipe where you inhale. The narrow alley is the tube of the pipe that carries the smoke, and the eastern entrance is the end of the pipe that holds the tobacco. Today, there isn't much tobacco sold on Old Pipe Street. What you'll find are shops selling unique items, many you can't get anywhere else. Why? Because much of it is made here, on site by artists who are also the shopkeepers. Xingmu Shougong is a great example. Artists make books filled with blank paper. Some of the covers are hand-painted, and they're all bound by hand. Today, the shopkeepers are making unique clocks. Other shops, like Chinese Red, sell handcrafted ornaments from far regions of China. And paintings by local artists. When the shopkeeper has idle time, she practices the Chinese art of paper cutting. Some artists have studios off-site, but sell their work on Pipe Street, like Huang Fengnian, who owns Fengnian Earthenware Shop. Just like many others in Beijing, he's caught the Olympic fever. How long have you had this shop? And do you enjoy talking to your customers, especially the foreigners who come? Don't worry if you can't speak Chinese. Most Beijing merchants have another way of communicating, the calculator. They punch in a starting price and show it to you. You negotiate by punching in your own number. Money truly is the international language. If clothes are your thing, you'll find thrift shops and even shops selling hand-woven clothing. 
but there's one shop that does more than just sell textiles. Today, we buy clothes and textiles off the shelf without understanding how the fabric is made. The fabric China is most famous for is silk. And here on Old Pipe Street, you can see how silk is made. Right before your eyes, you can see how silk cocoons are immersed in water. The worker gently removes the silkworm from inside the cocoon. Then the painstaking task of turning the silk into a usable form begins. The stretched silk is hung up to dry. Once it's done, it's stretched out. Today, they're making batting that will go into a silk comforter. The shopkeeper says silk is very warm and lightweight. They also sell silk items made in their Sichuan province factory. The selection is colorful and varied in size and price. Tourists, of course, are mesmerized by the demonstration of how silk is made, and you'll see plenty of them on Old Pipe Street. But it's not a tourist trap. You can see a lot of genuine Beijing life here. Locals live here. Locals shop here, and so many locals pass through here that the bicycle bells never stop ringing. Even if you buy nothing on this street, just walking down it is unforgettable. But chances are, you'll find something you want to take home. The hardest part of shopping on Old Pipe Street is deciding what to buy. There are so many things here at Old Pipe Street. It's hard to decide which one to get, but I think I narrowed it down to five. This is a diary that I bought for my daughter. It's at a shop where they actually make these. I bought this for my mother-in-law. Again, I met the artist who created it, and it actually is signed by the artist. Now, I didn't forget my son. This is a hacky sack, Chinese hacky sack, and I'm kind of proud because I was actually able to play with it. I also bought a bell for myself. This goes on my bike at home, and it'll remind me of my bicycle ride through the hutong. And finally, when I went to the silk shop, somebody told me I looked pretty good in this scarf, so I had to have it. Old Pipe Street, a place where you can buy one-of-a-kind things and have a one-of-a-kind experience doing it. Yeah. <laughs>